So guys, I just wanted to show you something. I bought an accessory for Lily and it's something I've always wanted, well I say always. It's something I've wanted ever since I got a 240. Finally. Yeah, they're expensive. They're really expensive. For a bit of plastic, I think they're charging 150 euros and it's just for this, just for this plastic. You know, it's, it's a joke really. That's not where this came from. So, most of you guys will be familiar with Whiteland Restorations. It was actually a friend of theirs that I bought this off. I've actually seen him in one of their videos and I recognised his name when I saw him list these for sale on Facebook. You didn't check out my cheap Chinese wish cups, did you? I saw them glow. Uh -huh. I saw them glow. That, that is the pinnacle of Chinese technology. They are sweet as oil, vaults and uh, oil. Yeah, they aren't connected. <laughs> Just vaults. This for show. Sure. I don't even know if they work yet. <laughs> <laughs> We're missing one of the lugs here and a, a tab has broken off as well. One of these tabs. But he told me about that, I was aware of it. These are Volvo original ones and you can see they do look good, of course. We've got a rev counter which obviously we're going to keep. The outside temperature one, it works, it's usually about 10 degrees off. So I don't know if the sensor needs replacing, I'm not really that fussed about that gauge. I know I should use a plastic one but they come out quite easy, as long as you're careful. Yeah, they're not too bad. With one screw, it's going to hold, isn't it? So, yeah, I'm going to go and get Phillips. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I just had to, like, finagle it a little bit, move it across and across back and out, and it kind of just, it frees off. So this, there's a tab here where it just hooks in. Imagine being in the dealership in the 80s and looking through the catalogue and sitting down with a salesman and about to buy your brand new 240 and deciding what gauges you want in it. What a time that must have been. This is just slide out. Yes, there we go. So if I unplug that. So I thought actually before I put this voltmeter in, I mean, even just to offer it up, if I test it first, so I know that it works, because if not, I'll have to order another one. Yes, it works. Look at that. I'm going to plug one end onto here. camera could have been worse because that, that went straight for the drive belt that did and it was actually plugged in I think I need to undo one of these and get a threaded nipple for it can't believe I, I just gave one away I had one and I gave one away I'll never be able to get another one but then I wonder yeah so guys I'm a bit jumpy and trying to be a bit careful because Wasps nests. There's only a few little baby wasps flying around, but yeah, you can see some of them here. Anyway, I just pulled down this manifold from up there, so I was being very careful. Now this nipple is what I gave to Mark. Yeah, he's actually, I think it's because he was, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's because he's turbo in his, so he, he needed it for the, uh, for stuff, but for reasons. So we've got the same on this, we've got these like blanking bolts here, plugs, I assume that's what they are. But then I just noticed this one. Now this goes to the fuel pressure regulator, but if that will fit into one of those holes, that could work, couldn't it? And then we have a dedicated line for our vacuum gauge. So I'm going to try and take out one of these plugs. hope I don't mess anything up. I think it's the same. I 
old Volvos are just the best. Now I've just got to figure out where actually to run this line. We do have, to be fair, there's a grommet there. I'm going to use that. Am I going to use that one? It's quite hot over this part of the engine though. Get some good amount of heat here off the exhaust, which isn't ideal. But I'm not sure if there's a better location. That's perfect, isn't it? That thing there, just punch a hole in that and just run through it. Yeah, that's it. All we need to do is punch a hole into that and uh, run this line through. I think that'll be totally fine, won't it? There we go. And that's a nice tight seal. Okay, this is what I've decided to go for. So it goes from there around with the fuel rail a little bit, kind of underneath it, across the top of the bulkhead where you've already got a wiring loom here, and then down and into the into the bulkhead there. So it's like that. Or like that. That's speaking to me somehow. I don't know if maybe all you watching are like, yeah, 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 have it like that. But something's telling me that's the one. So yeah, a couple of elastic bands just to space it out so it doesn't rattle around in there because they don't actually fit properly. But that's fine. On those numbers. So it's got to be, that'll be the part number there. 3219195318. A. I used to be a, a, a foul V, a VW parts guy. Once upon a time. So it's actually, it's only 29 bucks. They're not even that expensive, but. Oh, it says there. VW Golf Polo Voltmeter. So I don't know. It must be obviously the Mark 1, the very first. There we go. Showing 12 volts. You may not be able to see from there in the pitch black but we've got 12 volts then the vac one nice and easy put that on push that in there so we just put this in here anyway and it's just going to sit there and tell us that it's minus 30 at all times i'm so stoked with this not only to have it but to have working gauges i, I was going to quite easily settle for non-functioning gauges but just to have it just for the looks but to actually have them work as well need to give it a clean up it needs that other gauge there of course on the on the bottom but how cool is that with another gauge there it's going to look really awesome but all in good time but yeah there we go if you've got a gauge and you want to sell it to me let me know but yeah, there we go. We've got, we got a row of gauges. How nice is that? It's such a nice, cool thing for these cars to have. Really adds to that 70s vibe, you know? Yeah, that's awesome. Let's give it another one more shot, one more go.